What is happening everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at a new Xiaomi keyboard and Xiaomi mouse. So, let's get right into it. So first of all, here's what the box looks like. It's pretty simple and straightforward, pretty much the same as last time. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at the old one as well and show you guys the differences and show you the white one and the black one and talking about them in general. Got a chance to play around with both of them and um, here's what I think about them. So, first of all inside the box you will get the keyboard itself, a nice black braided cable which is really nice, about a meter long, a keycap puller and check this out, we get a Macintosh or Apple command key which is pretty awesome if you're a Mac user. I really don't care about Mac users but hey you got this and that's pretty cool. And basically how this works is you take out the Windows key and easily pop in the command key just like that and then you can hit function F12 which this key will flash and indicate that it has switched to the Mac OS function. So here's what the cable looks like, it's actually pretty nice. Last time we had a boring white plastic cable, uh, it's nothing special but this time we truly have a much nicer cable. It's nicely braided, it's really high quality and it's definitely a big big step up than the last one. So. So far so good, also a pretty good keycap puller that pulls out keys very easily and it doesn't scratch them. And again we get the swappable windows and command key which is pretty awesome. And this time for the switches themselves we get Cherry MX switches, unlike last time we got TTC switches which were fine, they were good enough but this time we have Cherry MX so it is a pretty good step up. Here's a close up of the key and you can see that it is not central lighting, it comes out from the top only and some keys are not equally lit and we'll talk about that in just a bit here. The black one comes in blue switches and the white one comes in red switches. This is the old one, the older model that came with TTC switches with a black space bar uh, which was a pretty interesting combo, it does work and back then I was very impressed with the build quality, it's actually on point, very nice, fantastic. Now the current models are being sold with Cherry MX switches so I don't know about the space bars on the new ones but one thing for sure is the black one does not have a black switch which makes sense because you want to click a keyboard, right? With the white one, you can see that it is evenly colored, everything looks nice. The keys themselves are very easy to read. Now, the camera doesn't show properly, but in real life, they are very easy to read. And keep note of the color here, it's uh, perfectly white, it's not transparent, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. And we have actually done a teardown of this keyboard, and the build quality is just insane. It's pretty awesome, very solid. You've got a solid base. And then we got the PCB, and I believe we have another aluminum piece inside. If you want to see what it looks like inside, you can watch my video that I've done previously. We got some information here, two rubber feet, and two height adjustable feet in the back here. And overall, never had an issue with the keyboard, it felt great. The black one on the other hand, for some reason, they decided to go for a semi-transparent black color, which actually just takes away from the keyboard itself. It's time, it's not glossy, it's kind of a matte texture and translucent, you can see the uh, lines here of the actual structure. And if you take a look over here, you can actually see the USB port. So that's one thing that really bugged me about this keyboard, the black one specifically, it's kind of transparent. Now if you're using it like this, you're not going to notice it obviously, but if you take a look at it head on, then you'll definitely notice that imperfection. Um, also, very nice aluminum build, uh, we have a very nice anodized aluminum, grey color in the back, space grey or deep grey as Xiaomi calls it. The structure on the inside should be pretty much the same. And here's what the skateboard sounds like. And that is what they sound like, now keep in mind that this is a Cherry MX blue and this is a TTC red. So with the red one here you might get a little difference, so the Cherry MX one should sound as good or better. But I really would like to see a brown switch coming out from Xiaomi. Anyways, let's quickly switch gears. What we have here is a mouse that we checked out last time, this is a Xiaomi mouse and this is a Xiaomi mouse again from the title. And uh, I really like this one in the previous video, it was nice, sleek and very small. Now some might argue that it looks like an Apple mouse and uh, it kinda does. But what I have really liked about this mouse is that it ran off both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Bluetooth, or should I say a 2.4 GHz dongle, so you can easily switch between the wireless USB and the Bluetooth. So if you didn't have a USB port, you can easily use Bluetooth on a tablet or a laptop or a phone and easily switch between those using this button right here. You can store the USB inside and it ran off to AAA batteries. Now the batteries have still yet to run out, it's been like 10 months or so. That said, I don't use it as much, but one thing that really annoyed me is that the USB dongle is a bit hard to get out, so you gotta like do that to get it out. And uh, it's a hassle if you keep uh, storing it and putting it back on. 
but if you're constantly using it, then you're not gonna have that issue. Now take a look at the black one here, which is the newer one that came out, and I gotta say, I am in love. It's much better, and it's really starting to feel something similar to my MX Master 2S. Now of course, it's not as good. It doesn't have all the functions that this one has, but it is actually pretty damn responsive, and it feels pretty comfortable, and I gotta say, I'm uh, really enjoying this mouse, and I wouldn't mind using it as my main PC mouse. So what makes this new one special? So first of all, it is actually bigger, it's larger than this one, about twice as big, which means it's more comfortable. It's got a scroll wheel, it's got a click wheel, left and right, but it also has a side button, and it's actually mapped as a back button. But what I personally have it mapped as is actually a push to talk button. So I'm in Discord or in game, this becomes my push to talk button, which is really nice. Personally, I don't like side buttons, and that is because every time I'm talking online with push to talk using this button, it goes back and forth in my browser so I actually use a program called xmouse and let me tell you that this program xmouse is a lifesaver because it allows you to remap or disable the back function and allow you to use it as a only push to talk button and not have it interfere while you're web browsing which is pretty awesome so the black one here unlike the white one runs off a single AA battery not triple A's, and it has a very easy to access wireless dongle. Because it was a big hassle taking the USB out of this one, and uh, it's actually much easier on this one. And it runs off a single AA battery, so it's easy to replace and deal with, and that's what it looks like. So it's a magnetic piece, and it comes out and comes in like that. And I believe the DPI is higher on this one, not too sure, uh, information will be right here. But the wireless reception was actually much, much, much better than the white one right here. So you could have a lot more getting in the way of this mouse, and this mouse will still be able to uh, function very nicely from far away from a bunch of different obstacles in the signal's way. So overall, I would actually recommend this mouse over the white one. So that's pretty much it for the mice. All right, let's go ahead and power these up and see what they look like. So I have adjusted my camera so you guys can see better what they look like in real life under heavy lighting. And um, that's what they pretty much look like. They actually look pretty good, very easy to read. And I really like the black one, since the red really pops out of the black one. So here's what they look like in the dark. They look really, really nice. And you can see the flickering here. The flickering here is only in camera, so don't worry about it in real life. So the black one here looks pretty awesome. The red really pops out of the black. And you can't really see it here in camera, but let me adjust the settings. So you can see that the red kind of pops out of the black as well, uh, just like with the white one. So you can see that the white one pops out way more and uh, the reflection is much easier to see. So not only the letters are lit, but the back of the keys are lit as well. And it looks much nicer on the white one, especially from far away. You can see the difference here. Now let's go ahead and see what kind of functions we have here. So the first one is very simple. You hold the FN key and we got uh, brightness up and down. You can turn off the keys completely. And we can do that on both keyboards once again. And we also have the FN plus Windows key. And that's when the Windows key will actually be disabled for gaming. So it has that function, and yes, these keyboards are pretty much aimed for gamers. And if you want to turn the Windows key into the Mac OS key, or the Command key, you hit the FN F12, and the key here will flash, and it will indicate that it has switched to the Command key. So, really awesome. Doing caps lock and scroll lock, they will turn into blue, and that's pretty much it. So it's really easy to know when they are on and when they are off. And really, the caps and scroll locks, you're not really going to use them anyways. So it's very easy to know what's going on if your caps lock is on or if your scroll lock is on. They're just simply lit in blue. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the white one. So the caps lock will actually turn into red and the scroll lock will turn into red as well on the white keyboard. Now I'm not too sure on the newer models. They might have changed that, but this is what this keyboard is. So that's what it looks like. And that's actually pretty much it for functions. So here's a close-up of what they look like and that's it. So yeah. So yeah, they both look pretty nice and pretty awesome. They both have very nice functions, very simple and straightforward, and the build quality is just fantastic. Now you may be asking, are there any problems? Well, there's actually two problems or kind of little small issues that I have with the black one. The white one is perfectly fine. Both of these are perfectly functional. Uh, they're basically just cosmetic things. One of them, again, is the transparent choice of the front panel. It's just transparent. It doesn't look that good. And the other thing is that the keys here, they're not equally lit. And that is because some of the keys have some kind of black piece in the way. For example, the B key here, although it looks pretty good, I have actually fixed it. Originally, it had a very dim top left corner. And I took out the key and looked inside, and there was actually a black piece that was blocking light from getting to the other side. So I took my small needle nose pliers and actually ripped that piece out, and now it looks much, much better. And some keys like the print key, you can see that very easily. It's not equally lit but that didn't bother me as much as the B key. Really, only the B key annoyed me that much. The caps lock key, you can see that it's not equally lit. In the center, it's very bright. Not all of the keys are perfectly lit on the black one, which is kind of unfortunate, but these are the only two issues that I really had with these keyboards. Other than that, 
They're really solid keyboards, the performance is fantastic, and the keycaps themselves are actually double shot. Yes, these keycaps are double shot. So you know these things are pretty high quality, and if you're wondering what these feel like, well, they feel like paper. And with that kind of texture, they should help with moisture, so you shouldn't be able to slip, and they will also hold up in terms of durability. So nothing will actually wear out, nothing will disappear. Basically, these are some very good keycaps, and they are gonna definitely last in the long run. And yes, you can actually flip the spacebar around and have it uh, facing the other way, if that's your kind of thing. And that's actually pretty much it for this video. So should you get these things and which one should you really get? Well, if the design really intrigues you and the build quality and the Cherry MX switches, then you really can't go wrong with these keyboards. It's just that the black one has some kind of flaws that you can easily fix by changing the keycaps to your own or just fixing them just like what I did here. Or if you really like the white one, then definitely get the white one as well. They're both equally as good in terms of function. And for mice, I would recommend getting the black one from now on. It is much nicer. And let me guys know if you want to see some kind of top five video of wireless mice, uh, affordable wireless mice we can probably do that somewhere in the future but if you want that let me know in the comment section below is the price point worth it for these keyboards i can't really tell you because there are so many cheap keyboards out there for like 30 bucks mechanical keyboards but these are coming from xiaomi and they are running cherry mx switches and the cables are detachable so you're getting some pretty high quality keyboards but especially if you're a mac user you're gonna definitely enjoy these keyboards because there aren't a lot of mechanical keyboards made for Apple users. So, so yeah, I'll leave links and coupons for you guys in the description below if you guys are interested in these things. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.